Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. You know, so many times I've advised you boys, uh, you're not ready for a relationship. That you're already getting bossed around. You're already seeing what a dream killer can do to your life. Some of you have not had the balls to do what you need to do. Some of you have relied on this program for support. Some of you have relied on your friends, your brothers, your dads for support. Some of you never do what you should do, what you need to do. Others have. Those are the people with the inspiring stories. Those are the people we love to hear from. The ones who at one time lost track of their testicles. The ones who at one time were prepared to just have babies at a wedlock, become a sperm donor, pay all the bills, listen to all the nagging and harassing and cajoling and uh, attempts to manipulate and influence you. And finally, when you tune into this here program, on this here radio station, you finally said, hey, wait a minute. There's another way to do this. There's another way to live. Oh, sure, my parents might not like it because they like her. My friends may say, oh, why are you doing that? But in the end, you know better. In the end, you know that if you dump that bitch, life improves. Life becomes less costly. There's less compromise in your life. There's less nagging, cajoling, and complaining. People have noticed their salaries going up, their careers improving, their focus sharper. You know, when we say to dump that bitch, we're not saying to be a priest or a monk. We're not saying don't have sex. We're not saying don't party. We're not saying don't have fun. Quite the contrary. I think you should get as much ass as you can get your hands on. But you also need to dispose of it before it clings to you like lint. Because that's what happens with so many of these broads. You know, they, uh, you know the deal. They have sex with you and suddenly they feel close to you. Really close. Really, really close. And some of you boys act like you've never seen a naked woman before and you say, you know what, this may be my only chance. And you, you pounce on it. You jump on it. You glom onto these chicks. Not realizing that the future is bright. In the future, you're almost always going to make more money. You'll have a better job. You'll be further along in your career. Your value goes up. When she latches on to you when you're in college and stuff, she's essentially investing in a growth stock. She's buying a stock that's on its way up. Meanwhile, women are depreciating assets. Like a car, they lose 20% of their value the minute you drive them off a lot. And you're rarely the first one to drive them off the lot. Usually they are. Pre-owned as they like to say in the car business, or used. Many of you have um, not yet had the courage to do what you need to do, but um, I want to talk this hour, because we all need a shot of inspiration. We all need a dose of these feel-good stories where men finally find the wherewithal to kick her to the curb, to drop kick her through the uprights, to crumple her up like a used Kleenex and toss her in the waste can, to dump that bitch. Many of our more cowardly brothers out there are looking to you for inspiration. They're looking to you for your stories of hope, You can dump that bitch. There is life after that bitch. A life with more money in your pocket. Less obligations. Just little things. Like how many times has she hit you over the head to go to a wedding? 
or the funeral of someone you've never met, parties of people you don't care about. By the way, when you're a couple, just on the, the little side note here about parties, when you're a couple, what good is it to go to a party? The reality is, people go to parties to drink, and then unbutton the top button, and then flirt with people, and more. Ever go to a party when you're part of a couple? There you are, kind of standing around, kind of dolefully looking around at people having fun like you should be having? Ever been at a party like that? See, you're the candidate to DTB. I've been there. That's how I know, you know. There you are. You're invited to a party. You go, and there are all the unmarried people hooking up. Well, there you are with your girl talking about mortgage rates or home prices or baby names or SUV models. When in reality, you could be at that party hooking up with somebody really hot. Ever think about that? See, that could be you. If only you dump that bitch. We're looking to you to inspire us, to lead the way, to let the guys know who feel like beaten dogs that they too can grab their balls out of her purse, reattach them, and uh, kick her money grubbing ass out the door. We want to hear those inspiring stories. And you're right, Dean. It's time to end that world of uh, the Hugh Grant movies, Colin Farrell movies, the Brad Pitt movies, especially movies where they play like characters from Greek mythology or history where they take most of their clothes off and prance around. Uh, yeah, time to stop going to Ikea on Saturday morning to look at credenzas and bookcases. Backyard swings. Yes. It's time to stop being clawed by her cat in the morning. The soles of your feet are shredded from the cat reaching up and getting annoyed because the cat used to sleep next to her, and now you do. The cat never forgave you for that. The dog, too. You know what I'm talking about. So, boys, we need your help here. Those of you who have successfully and recently dumped that bitch... We need you to call up and tell your story of inspiration to all the boys out there who need a little, little inspiration right about now. Tom. Like this. Tom. Like this. 100. 100. Tom. 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 You sound like such a real nice guy. I am anything but a nice guy. The Tom Likey Show. the Tom Likey Show. Oh, yeah. This is a guy show. No doubt about it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Matt on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Dad? Not much, son. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was uh, 19, and uh, I got with this uh, chick and thought I was in love and ended up... Uh, not wearing a condom, and uh, she got pregnant, and uh, we ended up getting married. I started listening to your show and started realizing that everything you were saying is pretty much true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's just uh, it's it's awful, man. I'm I'm out of it now. We're getting divorced. And uh, how'd she react when you told her? Uh, she was kind of surprised, but I was like, hey, you know. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm too young for this, you know. <laughs> and uh, now I'm getting ass left and right, and it's great, man. And uh, I'll bet uh, she's got your uh, kid. Well, actually, I'm uh, probably going to end up getting custody of her, too. How'd that happen? Well, she, as of, like, the past couple months, she's just been, like, not really wanting to keep her. She's... I'm, she's over at my house all the time, and she's never, she never keeps the kids. She's always leaving her with me. So I figure, hell, I'll keep her. Look at that! Save yourself yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, a whole lot. <laughs> wow, wow, wow! Yeah, but uh, but uh, yeah, but uh, everyone listening, uh, 
Y'all got to listen to Tom because uh, he knows what he's talking about. And, uh, hey, Tom, can you take me out of the bong yet? Of course I can. Here you go, Matt. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Nate on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. What up with you, man? Not much, Nate. Chilling, chilling. Hey, let me tell you this story. I got mm -hmm. this story. I'm twenty years old. I've been going out with this bitch. Well, not no more. I dumped that bitch yesterday. But I was going with her for three years. Mistake, my bad, Tom. My bad. I didn't listen. Yeah. But dumped that bitch yesterday because she was only supposed to be. You know, I got this. I got this girl, I've been smoking weed for like, you know, six years now. Mm -hmm. Been with her for three, got her into smoking a little weed, you know, having some fun. Got, checked her emails, trying to email, trying to email like different dudes, trying to blow. Got her up. <laughs> All right, we got to watch our language here. Oh, hey, I'm sorry about that, Tom. Yeah, we got we to gotta watch, we're on the radio. Sorry about that, Tom. Yeah. Yeah, caught her emailing back and forth to some dude, talking about they were blowing. Last night. Oh, we, it, again, we can't say that word. That word we can't say. All right, sorry. All right, we got to be careful. We're on the radio. They were they were smoking last night. Oh, they were smoking. Is that oh, better? Well, that's good. They were smoking. Yeah, they were smoking last night. They were know? burning one. Yeah, they were burning one. Yes. Hey, I dumped that bitch yesterday. Tell me why today I'm driving to the homie's house going to go burn one. I met an even better, I met an even better girl than her. Really? Yes, Tom. I'm about to, she works at Victoria's Secret, Tom. I'm about to hit her up and see what her secret is tonight. Really? What does she look like? Really? Hey, she's this Latina girl. She's 20. Oh. Um, she's about 5'5", five, five, 125. Oh, boy. J Lo body, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, Tom. I dumped a 9 for a 10, so it's all good over here in Pomona. So you're going to get more ass than a toilet seat now. Hey, I know it, Tom. <laughs> good talking to you, Tom. Take me out with a bong head. Here you go, Nate. Can we all just get a bong? Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Dad. Son. It's an honor. It's an honor to be on the line with you, man. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Seriously, I'm 27. I was a few years ago when I was young and yeah, got married. You got married? How old were you? Met a girl, married her, brought her back to California when I quit my job and moved back. How old were you? I was 21 at 21. the time. 21. Oh, I, I hate stupid. hearing that. Yeah. I was stupid. Uh -huh. Even 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 my mother was against this woman. Mm -hmm. And I just my folks were just against it and just I was on you know doing my own thing. Uh-huh. And for it was like a year and 8 months that I was just going through hell with this woman, man. I kid you not. Wow. She would just ne next thing I know, she just ends up, you know, hooking up with her boss where she's working at and then I'm trying to paying all the bills and doing everything and it was just a pain and one of my best friends kept telling me listen to like us 101 I didn't know at the time what he was talking about so I started tuning in and I just could not believe what you were saying everything you say is true mm -hmm. and uh, about a year and eight months into that marriage I DTB really DTB how did she react when you did that she tried to kill herself ah oh. She tried to kill herself and was saying, now she missed me and this and that, when all the time she was telling me she didn't love me before. I said, you know what, this is bull, excuse me, <laughs> and I'm just moving on. I got a better I got a better job, focused, you know, exactly with what my career is in line with my career. Just bought a house, got two new cars, I'm doing fine. Got no issues. Look at that. And what's, no what, what's she doing now? Uh, she's working over at a, at a donut shop. <laughs> Enjoying the corporate no discount, issues. no doubt. I got no issues. I'm just a, I'm an engineer for a good semiconductor company. I'm doing fine. If you need someone to do no the issues. housework, you can you can pay somebody good, and it's a lot cheaper than a wife. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, no issues there. That's right. <laughs> man, and I just want to thank you, man. I really do, and I just want to tell these guys out there, hey, DTB that woman. If she's gonna messing up your life, you got to get rid of her. You can move on and do better. Paul, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Dean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Father? How much, son? How are you? Good. All right, I got a story for you. I'm dating this chick for about six months, right? I'm a big believer in condoms. 
So she comes to me one day, and she comes to me, and she says, I'm pregnant. And I, you know, I didn't believe it, and I didn't everything. She showed me the test. So I go, and I tell her, you know, I want a divorce, or a, uh, an abortion right off the bat. She says, no, no, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. She knew I don't want kids. Mm -hmm. So I go to my sister, and I tell my sister, look, you got to help me. You know, she won't get an abortion. you got to talk to her. But nothing works. So eventually, I come to her. She comes back. My sister comes back and says, well, I'll go to the doctors, and I'll get the abortion pill, and you give it to her. So that happens. I slip her the pill, dump it the next day. About two weeks later, she calls me and says she had an abortion, this and that. And it was all over with. Wait a minute. You, you, give, you, you did it like you gave her a roofie? You uh, slipped her an abortion pill? Yep. Really? Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't she suspicious when she woke up and suddenly had an abortion? She, you know, I didn't care. I left, I dumped her that night after I gave it to her the following morning. I was out. Wow. She knew I didn't want kids, and I told her right off the bat, and then I knew she was just using it as a ploy to get me to get married. And so how did you slip her the abortion bill? What, you put it in a drink or something? Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't know it, I didn't know it would work that way. I gave her a special soda pot. Oh, my God. Wow. But that was my story of survival. I understand. And now, are you a lot happier, Dean? Oh, you got to believe it, man. I work construction. I make $35 an hour. Buy my own home. Living on my own. Getting more ass than a toilet seat? Can't ask for anything better. Love that. Thanks, Tom. I just want to let you know my story. Take me out D style. What style? Dale Earnhardt style. Oh, Dale Earnhardt style. Here you go. <laughs> Dexter on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm all right, Dexter. So... A little while ago, I called in, talked to you, gave you the whole spiel. She's an angry person. I've got a beer limit. Yeah. She she buys purses like it's no tomorrow, and the bank account just goes down and down and down, and the work goes down and down and down on her side. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, we're engaged, and a month and a half ago, and by the way, i got to tell you story afterwards, because this is going to make guys feel just great. So a month and a half ago, I, I decide that I can't take the anger, <laughs> because no guy is going to live with a girl for 40, 50 years who's angry all the time. That's so true. she actually gives me the ring back, which blows my mind. So I have the ring again. Are you still there? No, I left the room. Okay. So I have the ring back. And, and yeah, I have to admit, it was tough times for maybe a week to a week and a half. But after that, it just feels so good because I can focus on work. My commissions have raised. My bank account is now building up again. Mm -hmm. Just bought a house. And let me tell you about a story just a couple of nights ago. So I go out into the hot tub over at my place. And these two girls come and join in the hot tub. I have no idea who they are. I've never seen them before, but boy, were they cute. I'm sitting there having a few beers, as many as I want, because I can decide to. And I'm having a cigar, and after a little while, they say they want to take their clothes off. Wow. So the girls take their clothes off, and they ask me to join them. So after maybe 20, 30 minutes of having a few drinks... One girl decides to jump in my lap. And we're having some fun in the hot tub. And I can't say it on the radio, but the rest of the guys out there can figure this out. And if you're with another girl, you can't do this. So we're having some fun in the hot tub, and the other girl says, I want to turn now. So I actually got to have two different women in the same night, in the hot tub, and oh boy, I, 
do I hope she's listening on the radio right now. <laughs> Tom, can you give me a big blow me up? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. JC on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's going on, man? Not much, JC. How you doing? Pretty good. I got a story for you, my friend. Oh, I love it. An inspiration, man, for these young kids. Cool. I, uh, being the intelligent uh, young man that I was at the time, knocked up two girls a month and apart. Where are you buying your condoms at the dollar store? Where are you getting them? <laughs> apparently, sir, because you know, apparently I have some swimmers. I should have <laughs> entered them in the Olympics because one was on birth control. Well, let me, let me, uh, they, there was a baseball player named George Brett, a Hall of Famer. Uh -huh. You know who he is, right? And he, um, he, I guess, impregnated five different women over the years, and, oh, and, and then they had abortions. <laughs> and here's what he said to Sports Illustrated. He said, at least I'm not firing blanks. <laughs> there you go. I guess you didn't have to worry about that one, did you? <laughs> well, listen to this. I, had, I wore condoms with one of them. The other one was on birth control, supposedly. Yeah. I know that trick. I've been listening to your show for a while now. Yes. Um, you know, I take care of my kids. That's all these guys have to do is take care of your kids, pay your child support, see your children, but you don't have to marry these girls. They don't have to run your life. You know, they all get this idea, like if they, if they, uh, you know, if they have your children, that they're going to become your, you know, your personal leech for the rest of your life, and that's not the case. As long as you handle your business like a man, you know, you don't have to destroy your life over it, pretend that you're in love with someone. Well, that's exactly right. That's what I tell the boys. I mean, uh, all right, if you, if you, if they have the kid and you get forced to pay child support after you've done a DNA test and all that stuff, fine, yeah. pay, but you don't have to marry them and then run the risk of paying vagina money, also. Yeah, see, I mean, money, no good, man. No good. Not at all. Now we're losing your connection there, JC, but I think we get the idea. One, eight, hundred, five, eight, hundred, Tom. Women want you to make more money than they make. It doesn't matter how much you make or they make. I don't make no money. I love when the guy has the deadbeat for a change. I really do. The Tom Likas Show. Los Angeles, it's the Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, you know, boys' night out are one night only comedy show by guys for guys with an all-male audience. <laughs> it's coming to Seattle Friday, September 30th at 8.30 p.m. at the legendary Paramount Theater. Tickets are flying out the door, and uh, you don't want to miss this. 2,800 guys, no chicks, and on stage, uh, nothing. But all male comedians saying stuff we could never, ever, ever get away with on the air. Never. Outrageous stuff. Kind of based on stuff we've done on the air, but really, this is the stuff that I'd love to say, but I can't. I want to say stuff I'd never get away with here. Never. Stuff they'd bleep out. Stuff they probably are bleeping out, for God's sake. But you'll see it on stage. Coming up on Friday, September 30th, 8.30 p.m. in Seattle at the Paramount Theater. The telephone number for tickets, 206-529-4051. 206-529-4051. But now, because everybody wants to see Boys Night Out. Everybody wants to see what it's all about. We are bringing Boys Night Out. This is my first appearance my ninth year on the air on 97.1, the FM talk station. My first appearance in the Inland Empire. Never, ever have appeared in the Inland Empire before. Not a listener party. Not an endorsement. Nothing. I have not appeared. And the first time you'll see me, you're going to see me doing Boys Night Out. Are you ready? This is the first announcement. So the people who call now get the best tickets. We're going to be uh, doing Boys Night Out in Riverside. At the Riverside Municipal Auditorium on Friday, October 7th. At 8.30 p.m. And you can get tickets right now. This is the first announcement. So believe me, the first people who call get the best seats. No doubt about it. Call this number right now. You're hearing about it for the first time like everybody else. 714-740-2000. 714-740-2000. Or go to Ticketmaster.com. Tickets are also available at the box office. Boys Night Out comes to the Inland Empire. The Riverside Municipal Auditorium. Friday, October 7th at 8.30 p.m. 714-740-2000, or go to Ticketmaster.com. All right, have you dumped that bitch? 1-800-5800-TOM. 
is our telephone number uh, Gina on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? I have a statement. Oh. Can I make my statement? Let me think about that. <laughs> Do I have permission to make my statement? All right, I've decided you can. <laughs> Did you give me permission yet? I just did. Okay. Now, I listen to your show, and I love you. I, I think you're fabulous. But the caller that disturbed me was the one that put the pill in the girl's drink so she'd abort the baby. Yeah. That's, that's just so wrong. That's so wrong on so many levels. It's, it's, it's almost, it's murder. It's horrible. Well, you first of all, first of all, I, the word murder is not appropriate. Now, it is, it is, it is, I, I'm going to say this, it is illegal. Okay. To, okay. It is illegal to, okay. to spike someone's drink uh, with whatever you're spiking it with. But, but it is not murder. Well, what would you call it then? It's just horrible. It's well, murder. abortion is legal. I don't know if you know that. It's legal. Yeah, but now without the, the girl didn't have any knowledge of what was going on. But but again, it still doesn't make it murder. But I think it does. But it doesn't because if she took the pill herself, it wouldn't be murder. No, I know, but someone else gave it to her. Well, it doesn't make it murder. It may, you you violated the law, and you spike somebody's drink, and uh, that's illegal. But it's not murder. Yeah, but you just can't condone that. It, it's so. It's I, I didn't express an opinion about it. I just just said, "Wow!" I didn't, I didn't say yes or no or yeah. Everybody do that. Nothing. Well, it's just wrong. Well, I didn't really tell what my opinion was about that. Okay, so I still I still can love you. Oh, you can. You don't know what my opinion is, but uh, yes, you can. No way. Can you tell? Can you tell us? Let us know what your opinion is. I think people should be careful getting caught breaking the law. Well, do you think he should have broke the law? Well, put it this way. Yes, sir. I would never recommend on the air that people break the law. Okay. You made me feel better. I don't know why. <laughs> Did you say why? I, I said I don't know why. <laughs> I said I would never recommend it. But you agreed with it? I didn't say. I okay. said I would never recommend on the air that somebody break the law. Okay. On the air. Oh, but see, that means you agree with it. I never said how I feel you about what it. you do. You tell him to go. Drive I off. never told him what to do. I never said it was good or bad. But you always tell him to do the Hail Mary, you know? I, t I, I tell him to do the Hail Mary. That's, that's what I recommend. The Hail Mary is the way to go. <laughs> if you get caught spiking someone's drink, you might go to prison. That would be okay. bad. Yes, that would be terrible. Yeah. Please don't take any more calls. Like no, that. no, I have told men, you know what you do? Invite her into the hot tub and give her some champagne when she tells her she's pregnant. And what, what will that do? Well, uh, I have read warnings about hot tubs. Oh, or they could ride roller coasters. It's not good to ride roller coasters when well, you're Well, there you go. Yeah. It's, it would be legal to tell her, honey, let's celebrate. Let's get in the hot tub. I've got a bottle of Moet. Here we go. Yep, let's ride the roller coaster. Take let's a bottle of yet. Right. And ride the roller coaster. Then, then a friend of mine has a trampoline. We're going to jump up and down. <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, things like that. Right. Okay. Then we're going to do shots. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what's your favorite cigarette? You like unfiltered camels? Here, have one. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you're, you're making me feel a little better, but not much. Oh, well, what can I do? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gina. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Tom. Hello, Sean. Hey, man. How you doing, Tom? Hey. I just want to tell you that I'm a really big fan of yours, man. I've been with you for a long time. All right. Here's the story, man. Yeah. Uh, been, been dating this chick for about three years, right? Yeah. Uh, met her in high school, right? Right. Um, uh, big mistake, right? And um, so, you know, graduate high school, get into college, right? So I live in I live in uh, Fort Worth or Dallas, which I, I don't know if you know, but the women here are smoking, Tom. Oh, you know I've been to Dallas many times. I've said that on the air many times. Ooh, so 
you know, I go to a major university here, so uh, I'm going to class and seeing all these hot chicks, right? Well, she doesn't like me going to co- class or anything, you know, or she doesn't like me, you know, like looking at any. Yeah, we're real restrictive, you know. And anyways, it, uh, she was a uh, she was a virgin too, so I, I violated that rule. So she was clingy as, as, as all get out, right? Uh huh. So about uh, two weeks ago. Um, she told me that I couldn't hang out with my buddies anymore, right? She told you that you couldn't hang out with your buddies? Yeah, because cause what they do, we like to go to the strip clubs down here and party and get it on, you know? So she goes, oh, I want you hanging out with those guys. I was like, well, you know what? Uh, you know what? Uh, so long. Why don't you go ahead and... Uh, um, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to dump you right now. So I DTB'd about, uh, about two weeks ago. So And uh, I'll, be turn, I'll be turning 21 and... Uh, on Friday, so I got a I got a hell of a lot to look forward to, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna be a police officer, so I'm gonna get. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, Tom. And let me just tell all your listeners out there: if you don't, if, if you're if you're not sure about if you have the ball to do it, it, it it's it sucks a week, but then it's absolutely amazing. And I would recommend it to anybody who's in a bad relationship or you just don't want to be in one, or you get sick and tired of them. Like you said, Tom, you know you, you're drinking that six pack of a. Uh, of uh, Bud Light just to look at her face in the morning or in the afternoon or whatever. No doubt about it, Sean. Sounds like you're getting more ass than a toilet seat, too. It's the Tom Like It Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Rebecca, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Excellent. I was wanting to follow up on the phone call that you had with Gina regarding... Um, Sort of the guy who sort of slipped a woman an abortion. By the way, I I still have doubts about whether that, that you can do that. Uh, are you four eighty six? True. Uh, which it, it which kind of fishy. And well, it's everything I know about are you four eighty six, which I'm assuming is what it is. Uh, Rick, are you forty six requires a visit to a doctor and it is not just pills. It is also injections that go with it. I I well, don't. I honestly question. don't believe that what he was telling us was a true story. But yeah. uh, you know, it, it it was an interesting story. He could have slipped her some sort of nasty cocktail. I don't have some of his own making. I don't know. But my my question is now I totally agree with you that the the idea of a woman sort of entrapping a guy into a relationship through pregnancy that's wrong. You are totally explicit about that. Now, if, if let's just say that what this guy said was true, just for the sake of the argument, he slipped her an abortion. Um, I know it's not murder because of the legal definition of fetuses, blah blah blah. But that's just not cool. And so, I mean, so my my question, Gina wasn't able to ask you the question because I think she was too gaga because she was talking to you. Is do you condone that? Do you think that uh, my my recommendation to a listener would be don't break the law and get caught? No, 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 no. That's Tom, do you think that's okay? okay I, I, I would I do it? No. Would I do it? No. I would not do it. Do you think it's, I mean, you're really vocal and clear about Well, I said I wouldn't do it, and I wouldn't recommend someone else to do it because it's illegal. Do you think now, it's- if he did it and got away with it, and the woman suffered no other consequences other than that she had an abortion, I can't say I'm sorry. But I wouldn't rec- I think that's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of soup you put yourself in when you start putting guys in a corner, and you start saying, well, I'm having a baby, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, you're, you're endangering well, yourself. I know that is such a double standard. I mean, it's I'm not a double standard. Her, but I'm not agreeing with him either. They're both, I mean, they, they both probably deserve each other, because they sound like pretty, uh, right. crappy people, but. Right. It's hard to feel sorry for either one of them. I mean, because basically, here, here's, to use your own analogy, you said it was like slipping a woman a roofie. Do you right. think it's okay to slip women roofies? Uh, it's clearly illegal. And I by the way, I, I wouldn't do it, but by the way, no, by the way, slipping a woman a, the purpose of slipping a woman a roofie is so you can commit rape, which I'm yeah. definitely opposed to. But I'm not opposed yeah. to abortion. But to abortion without the knowledge of the woman who's carrying the fetus? You well, don't, again, you don't I wouldn't that. do it, and I wouldn't recommend it to others. I, I can't make it any clearer than that. Okay, well, it means that you, you're, a little, you're, you're wishing out, watching on it. No, I, I, no, all I'm saying is if the woman had an abortion after being like that, I don't feel badly about it. But I still wouldn't recommend people to do that. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.